Good morning and welcome to All for the Family with Evangelist Noy Antonia Hidden. God is good all the time. We bless God for keeping us alive to see this day which He has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This morning we have come before God to receive wisdom and to be fed again by the word of God. Man will not live by bread alone, shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Today we have come to eat from the word of God. It is our food so far, a food for our souls, for our spirit, for our body. It will help us, it will renew our minds this day and we will be filled with the knowledge of God. We will allow the spirit of God to lead us through this world that we are in, through our lives. Amen. Uh, God loves us so much. He does not want us to die as sinners. He does not delight in the death of a sinner. He wants us to repent of our sins and to be saved. Jesus Christ has given us salvation already. The grace of God that gives salvation to men has appeared to the entire world. None of us will have a reason to say that we did not hear about the salvation of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because this message must and has already gone out to the ends of the world. God still wants us to, be, to proclaim the goodness, His goodness to the people around us, to tell them about the salvation of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Every one of us has to be very busy in doing the Lord's way in the name of Jesus. God loves us. He loves us so much and nothing can separate us from His love. This morning we have come before our all to receive everything that we need. We believe that God has already provided everything for us in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, through whom we can do all things. Let us trust God, because if we have unbelief in us, we cannot receive the blessings of God. Amen. This morning, let us examine ourselves. We had this unbelief in us. Let us pray that God will help us to remove it, so that today we can receive wisdom from God. Any of us that is double-minded today is unstable in all our ways. Let us pray today that we be firm in our purposes as we have come before the one and only true God that can bless us, that can help us. The God who has promised us that nothing can separate us from His love. We believe that nothing can separate us from the love of God. We believe that we have salvation in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And we believe that we are the children of God. That Jesus Christ has given us an entrance to come into the presence of God this morning to call Him our Father. Today, as we have come before God, if there is any bitterness in us, any malice, unforgiveness, let us lay them at the feet of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, where we can receive help today in the name of Jesus. This morning, let us repent of all our sins. Our God is able to forgive us of all our sins. He is the Father of all, of all compassion, the God of all mercy. He can renew our minds and make us the children that He wants us to be. Our God teaches sinners in the way on which they should go. We have come to our God today. He will not send us away. He is faithful. We thank God that we have a high priest in the order of Melchizedek, one that reigns forever, that knows our weaknesses, one that is able to help us. He is the beginning and the end. His strength will never end. We trust Him that today as we have come to Him, he will help us. Father, we bless you. We exalt your holy name. You are our God. We thank you for everything you have done for us, O Lord God. We bless you for keeping us alive to see this new day. We thank you, God, for giving us everything we need. Everything we have comes from you. You are our God. We have no other God but you. Today, as we have come before you, Father Lord, we acknowledge that we are sinners, that we have sinned against you in many ways. Father Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus and we ask for mercy. We thank you, God, because we know that you have forgiven us of all our sins. As you have forgiven us, Father, we pray that you help us to forgive everyone that has sinned against us. In Jesus' name, amen. This morning we pray that your Spirit will help us. We reveal your way to us as we begin to study out the Word today. We pray that this Word will be full to our soul, spirit, body, mind, and everything, O Lord God. We pray this day that we have a word that we take out to encourage anyone that is discouraged today. A word that will bring healing to those that are sick. That will bring strength to those that are weak today. That in, in all our situations, Father Lord, that your grace, O Lord God, we avail for us today in Jesus' name. Father, we pray for regions of the world where this message has not gone into. We pray for an entrance of your word to those places in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you. 
We bless you for everything you do for us. We thank you, God, because you know that you never, you never forsake us. Thank you for that, Lord. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good all the time. If God has been good to you, testify about the goodness of God to the people around you. Faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. This morning we are going to continue with our reading of the book of, of Hebrews. We are going to read Hebrews chapter 7. We are beginning from Hebrews chapter 7. And the title, the title of uh, the passage today is Mechizedek the priest. We have previously made reference to Mechizedek. We are reading that Jesus Christ is a high priest in the order of Mechizedek. So today we are going to read a little more about Mechizedek the, the priest. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to read verses 1 to 3 of Hebrews chapter 7. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. This Mechizedek was king of Selim and priest of God most high. He met Abraham returning from the defeat of the kings and blessed him. And Abraham gave him a tenth of everything. First, his name means king of righteousness. Then also, king of Salem means king of peace. Without father or mother, without genealogy, without beginning of days or end of life. Like the Son of God, he remains a priest forever. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the high priest we have, one in the order of Mechizedek, one that has no mother, no father, no beginning, no end, without genealogy. You cannot trace his, the person's ancestry. Amen. But everything leads on to God, the Son of God, the high priest of God. And he reigns forever and ever. Amen. We read that Abraham met this king, King Melchizedek, when he returned from the defeat of the kings. He went to defend his, uh, Lot, his, bro his brother. Yeah. He went to help Lot when they separated and Lot went to West Sodom. The kings around there, he had problems with them and they came against him. And the kings, they had each other to fight. Amen. They had an alliance, each of them. When one has a problem with any other uh, nation, they come and they fight together. They fight against that person. And Abraham went to help his brother and he defeated the kings. He met with the king of Salem. And we are told, of Salem, we are, we are told that the king of Salem is the king of peace. He's also the king of righteousness. Amen. He met with this king whose reign is forever, this king who has good genealogy, this king who is like the son of God, and he blessed Abraham. Amen. And Abraham gave him a tenth of everything, the spoils, everything he got from the battle to this king because he was a high priest in the order of Melchizedek, the high priest of God. Amen. Abraham recognized who he was, the person that blessed him, and he gave him a tenth of everything that he got from the war. Amen. That's the high priest we have today. Our high priest, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, is the king of righteousness. Amen. He's the one that can save us. He took upon himself our sin. Amen. He's righteous. He had no sin. He has given us salvation. Amen. Let us believe what God has given to us, what we have in Jesus Christ, that we are truly righteous with God, that God does not take an account of all our previous sins, that everything we did previously before we met Jesus Christ, that God cleansed us, wiped them away. Amen. Because we are met with a king of righteousness, one that teaches sinners the way they should go, one that came because of sinners. And to the life of sinners to give us the life we have today. Praise God. Hallelujah. And Jesus Christ also is the King of Peace. Just like King Melchizedek. Amen. 
We thank God that we have peace. When Jesus Christ came to this world, he brought peace to all men. He brought good tidings to us, good news of salvation and peace. We have peace. Let us receive that peace that God has given to us and enter into the rest of God. Amen. If we are not seeing the peace, we are not enjoying the peace, we are not living in the fullness of God's way for us, yet we enjoy the light that God has given to us, then let us examine ourselves to find out why we are troubled within us. We find out when we examine ourselves is because, because one of the reasons might be because we have refused to believe that God has given us peace. We are still struggling, trying to resolve issues through our own human power and effort. Even when we know that we cannot help ourselves, that we have a God that can help us, we have a high priest we can go to. Some of us still want to do it our own way. Let us come to God. Umbo has said before God to receive the peace of God and enter into the rest of God. Today, when we hear the voice of God, let us not add in our hearts. Let us be attentive to the voice of the Spirit so that we can receive the help that we need in the name of Jesus. Amen. The story about Abraham and King Melchizedek. We, we can find it when we go back to Genesis chapter 14. You will find out that encounter when Abraham met with King Melchizedek. The other kings in the region came to Abraham to bless him when they defeated the, the, those that came against Lot. They came to bless him. But this king was peculiar, he was special. He had a different kind of anointing, and Abraham knew that this was the high priest of God. Amen. He blessed him and he gave him that tithe. The tithe only goes to the priest. Amen. Today, let us thank God that we have. A high priest that will not fail us. That today we have come to that high priest that has given us an entrance into the most holy place where we can call God our Father. That we have everything through Him and God is able to help us when we offer ourselves before God to have some mercy. God will forgive us. Amen. Our high priest came to die for sinners. He is the King of righteousness. He is the King of peace. He has everlasting life in Him. Everything we are struggling about through Him. We can do those things because God has given us power through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As many that believe in Him, God gave power to become His children. Today, when we meet with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, let us not add in our hearts. Today, when we hear this message, this word that gives life to the children of God, let us humble ourselves before God to receive salvation in the name of Jesus. At this time, we are going to thank God for His faithfulness, for blessing us. And giving us a high priest who reigns forever, the Son of God, the one who has no beginning and no end, the one that we can trust, the one that has given us an interest to come before God today to call him our Father. We bless God because we represent him in this world. This high priest has given us the power, the authority to go out to begin to proclaim the goodness of God to the world around us. The Spirit of God dwells inside of us because of this high priest and because we are obedient to the will of God. Amen. For us to receive salvation, we must have faith to believe God. We must combine our faith to the word that we have received about God to begin to live our lives according to the will of God. And surely God is our God, we are His children, and Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. He is the King of righteousness, He is the King of peace, He has given us life. And we are able to do the things that we do in this world in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want to ask you a question before we end our session this morning. What is that problem that you're passing through that you think that is overwhelming? Nobody can help you. You have tried and tried to resolve that problem, and yet you cannot find a result. The people around you cannot help you. What do you want to do about the problem? Do you want to continue to struggle, to continue to go in cycle? Instead of coming to one that can help you, the Son of the Living God, who can deliver you from all your troubles. Today, think about it. What do you want to do about your situation? You have a God that's ready to help you. Say, call upon me in your time of trouble. I will answer you. Let us call on God today and let Him have sway in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we bless you. We thank you for bringing us to the end of our study this morning. We thank you for being our God. We thank you for giving us Jesus Christ. 
a high priest in the order of Melchizedek. We thank you, God, because we know our high priest reigns forever and he will never fail us. Today we have come to you to receive wisdom and we have been fed again from your word. Thank you, God. Thank you for everything you have done for us. We pray that throughout this day, we be your ambassadors and that in everything we do, that your goodness, your faithfulness and your peace will flow from us to the people around us today. In the most holy and precious name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good all the time. If God has been good to you, testify by the goodness of God to the people around you. Faith comes by hearing and by the hearing and by hearing the word of God. Be blessed this day. Hallelujah. Amen.